Hello students. So hope you all are seriously preparing for this upcoming WRD exam. Okay. So in this particular video, I will be discussing about the detailed strategy or one month plan for this particular WRD exam. That is how you can utilize each and every minute, each and every hour, every day for the rest 30 days to get the best of the best results. And this video is for the students who have registered for the Sandpoint course or who are preparing by their own also. Because everyone is having only one month time and you should devote some time for a particular subject. So let me give you one example. See geotechnical engineering, environmental engineering. So these two are very very important subject. That doesn't mean that you will devote entire 15 days or one month time for these only two subjects. No, because whenever you pick any subject, you should have certain deadline to complete that subject. Whether you study it for 10 hours per day, 5 hours per day, whether you make the notes, you don't make the notes, that is secondary. Now don't go behind making notes and all. It is not at all possible. Just go through the content, whatever you are having. That is more than enough. Okay. And also I will be discussing about the subjects which you can skip also because that is the smart way of study because this is a very short period and you cannot complete the entire syllabus and that is not practically possible also if you haven't studied the subjects. Eager many students are there who are studying for this particular exam since one year. So they can do the entire syllabus revision in this one month. But the students who were not having trust on this particular exam or who were assuming themselves that this exam will not happen. So all of them are facing very hard times now. And now they are saying, ki, Madam, we didn't listen to you that time. When I was telling ki, you keep preparing for this particular exam. And in fact, in one of the videos I had told ki, you can expect in the month of July or August, something like that also range I had told you in one of the videos earlier. Okay, so forget about all those things. Past is past. Now, whatever the time you are having ahead, let's try utilizing that time very much effectively. So, I suggest you to go through this entire discussion, whatever I will be discussing now, so that it will be definitely helping you for this particular exam. Because I am discussing about the important topics also, which you, they, you in no case, you should live in that particular subject. I can know one topic of difficulty early, easy early. You should never leave such kind of topics. So all those things I will be discussing and in one month I am trying to inculcate even GS also. Like how you can prepare for non-technical paper also in this one month period. Okay. So let us understand this particular one month schedule in detail now. So you can see there are 15 subjects. Technical I am talking about. Subject names I have written here. And how many days you have to devote per subject as well as what is the start date and end date of that particular subject and what is the duration of this particular subject in the course of Sandpoint. Because before purchasing this course, the student asked me, ma'am, what is the duration of entire course or what is the duration of the subject, whether we will be able to complete this entire syllabus in this one month time, something like that. So these are the questions which usually students ask me. So that is the reason I have added even the duration also. But even if you are preparing on your own, still you need to stick to this schedule only because you don't have much time. Okay, for everyone only one month time is there. So we have tried adding as many as subjects in this one month time. And after this, okay, if you feel like this is very less per subject, something like that, then at the end of this explanation, I will be telling you key wherein you can add the number of days, like where you can give some more relaxation and which subjects you can skip. Okay, now so let's take the first important subject as building materials and concrete technology. So you should start it at any cost by 1st July and complete it by 2nd July. And I have considered this number of days considering that you are devoting at least 12 to 13 hours. Even 14 to 15 hours also the students are devoting. That is really good because very one month time I think. So new efforts are to nim samandana, new nidhi sacrifice mode to nim samandana. Better or Samandala, so there is nothing wrong in devoting yourself for 15 hours. Okay, now so our duration prakara, assuming that I am giving the dates here. So if you consider building materials, what are the important topics or which topics in no case you should skip? So listen carefully: stones, aggregates, bricks, timber, lime, cement, mortar, concrete, advanced concrete, then stone and brick masonry, stairs, paints, varnishes. 
so these are very very important topics in this particular subject and this is completely a theoretical subject there are hardly any numericals in that so you straight agi odukota hodri then you can complete the entire syllabus within two days okay you should not skip L see let's understand ki you can increase it by one more day also that explanation i'll be giving you little later and the duration of this course in our assigned point is 16 hours so even if you spend 8 hours of this course in on first day and 8 hours of this course on the second day then you can complete the entire syllabus and that too i told you we are having the fast forward option that is 1.25x 1.5x 1.75x and all so with increase in speed also you can try reducing this last times so 24 idu do you can complete it within 20 hours within 19 hours also if you are able to grasp the things very quickly and if you guys are preparing on your own also still whatever the topics i have told you should concentrate on those topics and you have to devote only two days of time next very very important subject is environmental engineering and this is the time and it is the course is of 24 hours in in sand point okay na so now which are the important topics here water demand water quality parameters water treatment distribution systems sewage quality parameters sewage treatment sewage disposal air and noise pollution so these are the all important topics here next comes soil mechanics and foundation engineering that is your geotechnical engineering very high weightage subject so again two days for that so one day environment also in one day you should complete entire water supply and on second day you should complete entire waste water engineering so first day of soil mechanics you have to complete and second day you have to complete foundation engineering okay so this is of around 30 hours course in our sand point so what are the important topics here phase diagram index properties soil classification compaction earth pressure bearing capacity types of foundations and design so these are the important topics here next high weighted subject is solid mechanics and engineering mechanics that is our strength of materials so this is very very important subject so again two days time you have to devote for this so the important topics are simple stresses and strains elastic constants sfd and bmd compound stresses thermal stresses and hoop stresses so these are the important topics which you have studied you have to study in song next important subject is rcc and pre stressed concrete so i have given only one day time i know it is very difficult but at this point of time like you have to go through the entire code book of is 456 and remember certain standard values specifications and formula because if you see last year question paper last time question paper like they had asked you to identify the questions and all in the formula so you have to remember all those formula and just go through some design principles of beams columns and slabs and some technical terms and all which are being mentioned in the code book you have to remember okay so don't worry about all these 28 hours how can we finish in one day so i know it is very difficult you can increase the speed and watch and also you can skip some of the topics also if you need okay just by going through the previous year's question paper something like that you can skip that can also be done or else if you want to prepare only for few subjects assume that you want to prepare only for 10 subjects then you should not skip anything you should study each and everything okay na so i i cannot make a single uh, this one strategy or multiple strategy e student e type plan e student e type plan madak nanage agudilla practically so new video nodakatha avarge you will be knowing your status so new environmental engineering som complete agi perfect idri and if you haven't studied sa bridge sand all then you can devote more time on this yaka nee vestu odirthira nodu ne nimu kottirathe nanu kottirudilla so this is the generalized plan which i am suggesting for you guys now next important subject is ctm very very important subject and uh, you can uh, you have to devote only one day for this and in sand point the course is only of 9 hours so you have to give more concentration on networks that is cpm and pert and construction equipments so next important subject is estimation and costing again one day of time so here you have to concentrate on specifications rate analysis earthwork calculation and valuation like salvage value or very very values are there so all that and all you have to calculate and you can expect lot of numericals and all here next subject is surveying 
so very very easy subject actually again only one day and this is of only 11 hours course here in our institute so here like important topics are chain surveying compass surveying leveling contours plane table theodolite curve setting remote sensing and gis next comes fluid mechanics and open channel flow okay so first 10 core subjects say another wala like you can keep some mark something like that and you have to study each and everything and if you want to skip these then you can skip and you can try considering or adding these the remaining dates into this so tilak hatirabodu na nimge yen helaktane ta so important topics here are properties of fluid that is very very first chapter bernoulli's equation dimensional analysis hydraulic jump centrifugal pumps manometer that is formula on the calculation of that next comes highway and traffic engineering okay so otherwise transportation atittu but i have classified it separately actually so highway and traffic one day that you complete maadabodu actually 15 hours devote maadidare andra like here you have to concentrate on highway alignment geometric design pavement design and construction pavement materials traffic studies junctions and signals so you will study maadabeku next comes irrigation and hydrology at least like some three questions you can expect from this so like one one day is more than enough for this so precipitation infiltration evaporation runoff hydrographs irrigation water requirements so these are the important topics here next comes your structural analysis so one day again time so determinant and indeterminate structures deflections presses arches and influence di- line diagrams for the different point loadings and all they are very important here next comes your bridge engineering so here like types of the bridges highway and railway bridges codes they will ask from this sub- topic actually then bearing again one day is more than enough for this it is just five hours course here then uh, steel structures so connections that is bolted and welded connections you can ask uh, you can expect more questions as well as built up connections here next comes your railway and airport okay so here railway gauge sign are the broad gauge meter gauge so adella odbeku then railway track components cans points and crossings so these are all in the railway engineering and airport or yenella correction for runway length and airport design standards so is to odibidri so now what you have to understand is if you don't want to study these subjects you can leave not a problem and you are having 5 days here so you can try adding 5 more days here like you can keep it as one more day you can add here and fm if you want you can add one more here one more year so e type madkonda nan e type on schedule madinella neevu one similar schedule madkore okay na so that you will try completing the syllabus as much as possible but in no case you should leave this environmental then song then uh, geotechnical engineering rcc then estimation fm so these are very high weighted subjects which you have to study now coming to the general studies plan okay so i have considered the general studies from 21st to 29th date mada nanu schedule kottanile so f- first physics is important at least minimum 5 to 6 or you can even say eight questions you can expect from physics like what are the important topics here forces optics instruments measured at kelatarla idi adarle measure martaru at na type light sound gravity then heat some electric circuits so adar mele la questions kelatarlu okay concave convex avella optics ola bahala important idu you have to study all next high weighted subject is polity okay so neevu if you study these four subjects if you are strong then that will cover more than 50% of your entire gs part actually okay so polity you should not leave anything in this so that is the reason i am giving two full days time for this particular subject polity so what all you have to study constitution articles amendments directive principles of state policy dpsp and thevo then uh, preamble parliament bills judiciary so that mean like entire polity you have to study amel idro twist at enu kelodilla straight forward questions only will be there from this particular subject next you should give more importance on modern history as well as if possible medieval history also so like modern history igina namdu idar mata like independence mata whatever are there like all those uh, uh, different struggle movements all those and all and different viceroys whoever had come generals 
so all those studies governors and all you have to study there and along with that in medieval you have to give more concentration on sultanates than uh, moguls and if you consider karnataka then you have to give more importance or weightage on vijayanagar empire mysore so all that and all you have to give importance and study so i have given two days time for this so if possible you study ancient history that is not much you can devote some two hours for that if you get some time then comes your aptitude and reasoning so idu kyaru ashtond the time spend madu necessary irudilla because aptitude questions will not be much difficult and you being from engineering background and all then you can solve aptitude questions very easily but still i can say some of the important topics here are like numbers and number system like sequence series odd man out anti valanam a type kelutaru time simple interest ages then trains and boats that is velocity equal to distance traveled by time taken or relative velocity a concept mel kelutaru when diagram mel compulsory then permutations and combinations probability then certain puzzles and one the four a general intelligence antaru nodre like four of diagrams irta which is odd man out or which is the best uh diagram which can fit in this fourth missed diagram something like that so our type questions so be idrola bhala kelthara next is your geography again it is very very high weightage subject okay so geography like you have to give importance on uh, our karnataka geography as well as indian geography and some one or two questions can be asked from even world geography also so it is very very vast okay like all the rivers soils tributaries dams bridges so lot of things are there to remember in this crops minerals and all uh, even like uh, seasons climatical conditions hills mountains ores minerals so you have to study each and everything here next comes your gk and current affairs which is very difficult actually and also like this is easy for the students who are in touch with this particular like current affairs things and all so this is left to you like sources and all so either you can nimaga newspaper odu habit itar eshto jana girat athi like who are targeting for administrative jobs and all so they will be concentrating on certain newspaper something like that or magazines they will be referring or certain apps also many people use as well as some youtube channels so it's left to you so whole day 29th in ratala whole day you can spend time on this like enare madre like you can go refer some youtube channels and all that is the best for current affairs actually so you can devote one complete day for this current affairs and next 30th day is your rest period okay so enu oda kobedri if possible try doing some revision i can say enu oda kobedri but odlarda irakant agudilla because you will be little tensed okay so do not panic much so one day you try relaxing or else do some kind of revision just formula do en iratala so try turning the pages of them and the 31st day is your d day that is exam day which will be technical and first will be your general studies so this is the end of the story for your wrd so try sticking to this particular schedule and i know this schedule is very tight very hard to follow but it will be easy for the students who have already studied and who haven't studied try picking some very few subjects in that i suggest to at least go with eight subjects not less than that bari one eight subjects niu each and everything odabeku do not skip anything in that concentrate on eight full subjects and in no case you have to skip environmental geotech song building materials and fm so concentrate these subjects more and prepare very well and if you need any other tips or videos on this particular journey let me know i'll be happy to make the videos on that all the very best